We are in Stenungsund in Sweden and I'm going to ask strangers if they would like to share with me a meaningful photo that they have taken with their phone and then share the story behind it. Very curious. Let's go. Just gonna see if I have some. Of course. <laughs> yeah, sure. Find a meaningful photo and yeah. share this. Wanna see it now? Yeah. Alright, alright. <clears throat> yeah, and there's so many photos. <laughs> I mean, it's meaningful to me, right? Yeah. 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 So should yeah. I show it? Now? Yeah. If you... Yeah, I have it on my Instagram. I don't know if it's it's hard to find on my cell phone, but yeah. it's this one. It's from me and my sister. Um, uh, so when we we grew up with each other all the time, she was the person like I lived with most of my life. And then uh, when our parents parents divorced, uh, she had to move to Germany, and uh, I was uh, left here in Sweden then. So um, we hadn't seen each other for uh, maybe three years or something. And then this was the picture taken with from our first Christmas together. Uh, after we got separated, so it was, you know, it was um, deep, and I will always remember that. And since then, we haven't uh, had a Christmas together, so it's pretty special to me. Yeah, so that's the story about that. Yeah, so it's a, uh, it's actually, I mean, it's my girlfriend, but it's a picture of Ma Masvidal's face, Jorge Masvidal. He's like a famous UFC fighter. No, but but it's true, and I I follow this guy like everywhere i even made a song about him all right and uh yeah he's like one of my idols he got knocked out though by uzman and uh yeah that's very freudian no but yeah <laughs> the, the thing the thing was uh he was uh, he was kind of lost in his way and then he came back with a comeback 3-0 and in the ufc which is pre pretty impressive he was about to leave it all on the floor like uh, hang up his gloves and retired but he came back with a vengeance and it's really inspiring so yeah, I photoshopped him instead of my girlfriend. I love I love my girlfriend though, but yeah, yeah. Okay, so it, it's like meaningful to me. Yeah, it's yeah, one of my heroes. Just, just so yeah. it's inspirational to you also. I mean, I to not give up. I took the time to like make this, so it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> meaningful. Okay. No, it's it's. Yeah. Uh, what about it's you? So you. What uh, about you? Well, what do you think? You can guess. It's your cat, yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's my cat. It's right, it's right, the love right. of my life. Yeah, that's my cat, Kia. She's one year old now and uh, love of my life. I love her. Yeah, I love her more than I can uh, describe in words. Absolutely. I can show you this. Yeah. Oh, wait, the light is falling on it weird. It looks all purple. I oh, know. How does it look better? Purple? No. I'm not sure why it worked with some and not with others, but we found ways to make it work anyway. Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> so what's the story behind that one? It's a lighthouse and it's... We were on a lighthouse safari. <laughs> where? Uh, this was in um, Granna and I do paintings of lighthouses. So that's why. <laughs> Have you painted that one also? Not yet. No, you're Not yet. Go. I yeah. will. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so why? What is your interest in lighthouses specifically? Or mm, I went uh, kayaking with my boyfriend to uh, Moasuchar. It's another lighthouse, and I just fell in love with it. So. I painted that one and then I'm, I'm just keeping on. <laughs> and this is your next, yeah. next piece. Very nice. Cool. That's Thank it. You. Thank yes. you. Would you mind airdropping it to me and that I just added in the video? Yes, no problem. It was like a few weeks ago when we was, uh, was in a hostel and we met like some some random guys and we all wanted to see the northern lights and the day before we have sawn them but just a little bit because we didn't have a car to drive around and then um, we just borrowed a car basically and went searching for northern lights and after a while we found them and just looked in the sky for quite a while and it was amazing. 
<laughs> yeah, never seen them before. No, just it was the first time, yeah. yeah. And it was really big. <laughs> yeah, so that's the story. <laughs> I'm jealous, man. I live in Norway and I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> Do you have something? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not sure because it's showing a face. <laughs> Uh, that's that's definitely the most meaningful yeah, picture I have, but... What? Can you describe the picture? Uh, it's my great uncle and he had a long sickness, sudden sickness, and that was the first image I got from him after he got better again, thanking me for all the care I gave for talking to the doctors and everything as soon as it was clear that he would survive, so yeah. <laughs> So that was basically the most meaningful picture I have. And it's a picture of him, right? Of him. Yeah. Him a selfie and yeah. thanking me, us, by WhatsApp because we were living elsewhere. Yeah. yeah. What is the story behind that one? And this uh, is meaningful for me because um, my dad passed away in uh, November last year. Uh, and uh, it's just a um, great picture of us together and it's I don't have many of them so uh, we were uh, on a boat um, on um, on the way out to Marstrand and uh, I was just crawling up to on my dad's lap so when was that? how many years oh, ago? Uh, probably like I was I think I was three, maybe, and that's 39 years ago. Mm. Yeah, so... Great memory. Yeah, mm. absolutely. My dog watching my wife putting up... Uh, uh, repairing our uh, bathroom at home. Oh. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's They're meaningful okay. because that's something I do. I'm uh, repairing my bathroom together with my wife, and uh, so that's something we do together. And and I also have my dog there. So. <laughs> and my dog is very important. So it's uh, Ingve. His name is Ingve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shared experience. Shared yeah. Family experience. Yeah. It is. Mm. Uh, he's my mom and uh, my sister. Uh, it's my mom and my sister and. Uh, they helped me a lot, so uh, it's, uh, that, that's why it's meaningful for me. And then uh, Melvin, yeah, that's Melvin. me. Uh -huh. yeah, so do you click on this one? Uh, what? Yeah, okay, here, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is the story behind this one? The story one? is uh, um, it's our summer house. It's on the west side of uh, Urust, if you know the Urust around. It's an island, you have Churn, a big island, and you have Ur Urust. And it's like uh, freedom and it's peace to just relax with by the sea. Mm. Mm. And when was this photo taken? When? Yeah. I think it was this winter time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very when the sun is going down and yeah, it's a re relaxing place. Mm. Lots of memories and nice time and, <gasps> That's nice. and everyone would li like to go there and you just you are the stress is just falling off and you just relax. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah. What's the story behind that one? So this is me and my son, who is 12. And um, like a month ago, we tried uh, winter bathing for the first time. And um, before a friend just um, told me about it, I was like, no, I would never do that. Why would anybody do that? So... Uh, she said to me, you have to try because it's going to be an experience that you will never forget. And uh, you, will never, uh, you will never want to be without it after. So I tried and she said, okay, so now you have to co control your body and control your breathing. So we, we stood on the, on the beach and she said, just walk. And you will walk up to your hips and then stop. Uh, so I just walked and I stopped. And I had to just look her in the eye because uh, it was a panic reaction. You just want to run, yeah, because it was so cold. 
Uh, and now, and she said, okay, now breathe. So I took some breaths and she said, now you will just sink down to your neck. And my whole body was like reacting, no, <laughs> I can't do that. And she, she said, just do it. Control, breathe. So I just, uh, I went down to my neck and, my, and the first body reaction is like, run, run from this. Uh, and she said, stay, breathe. And I stayed and I uh, started breathing. And it took me about like 20 seconds maybe. Uh, and my body went totally calm, totally relaxed. Huh? And it was like, um, yeah, it was, it was a fantastic feeling. After that, I want to do it all the time.